You showed me the new world. You made it real. I see it. I remember. Dad. The wall, beyond the wall, beyond the wall. Do you want to go out? I just two seconds. Ah, all right. Beyond the wall. I just woke up, so I'm recording this in beautiful natural light. Every now and then, like a good old-fashioned window video. The last time I saw you, we finished season eight. Oh my days! What an episode! It wasn't quite a pain, suffering kind of episode. In fact, a lot of it was very positive. Um, obviously, it was, I was, it was still very scary. But it's, um, yeah, the majority of the episode was actually fantastic. Bar a couple of little things which we will talk about today. Um, it was a great episode. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction nonetheless. Yeah, season eight. Ah, the ending was just not what I anticipated. One. Now that you've finished season 8, what are your thoughts or expectations for season 9? What would you like to see? <sighs> I would like to see some kind of settling for the first time in bloody forever, right? I would like to see us go back to some very normal apocalypse problems. I mean, obviously I don't want to see us go through issues, but if I'm talking from a writer's perspective, I would like to see more in-group issues. Maybe some of the saviors aren't happy with Negan's treatment, maybe... Maybe, may I don't even know if he's being kept where people will know where he is anyway. I don't even know if they, no, no, they must know because they said they can use him as a display. So yeah, I want to see some, perhaps some disagreements, perhaps some people fight for Negan's perspective and, and, and I want to see perhaps some people try and explain their point of view of why he became a necessity. Obviously, a lot of people won't believe that. I didn't believe that for a very long time, right? But I want to see the people that do, I want to see them try and voice that. Whether we shut it down, I don't imagine it will be heard very well at first at least. I want to see that kind of conflict. I want to see us go back to the bare bones of in-group conflict. There's no real greater like arc overarching villain. It's more like um the herd's coming and that's the threat. For once in a while it's it's the zombie threat that's 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 worrying, right? We're all going to work together to try and resolve that. And hopefully in doing so all those in-group issues resolve themselves. But yeah, so that's what I'm hoping for. A, a slightly more grounded season. I don't think every season needs to bigger and better the last. Shows us what's worth fighting for again um, and, and how all the groups intermingle. Remember, there are a lot of people that want Negan dead, right? So there is going to be conflict, period. I'm sitting here thinking like, oh, maybe we'll get a little bit. There will probably be a lot. There are, are going to be, I, I genuinely believe there are going to be very clear factions coming up. Very clear separations in what people view the world as and, and where they think it should go going forward. And at the moment, it seems to be Rick's viewpoint versus Maggie's. That's that's what I'm worried is going to become the ultimatum. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about that in a second. Simple question. Do you think Rick did the right thing by keeping Negan alive? Yes. Because look, here's my point of view on this. A lot of people will say all he's done, it's wrong. Him being alive, a lot of people may act, he may sort of act as a reason to fight against the new world because other people will feel like it's been stripped from them. That kind of stuff. A lot of people will say that Negan's death may be a catalyst for a lot of bad, right? But the way I see it, right, is if you are preaching a world of peace, of working together, of freedom... If you are preaching a world that wasn't Negan's world, you cannot have the very first act be murder. You just, you can't have the very first act be killing someone. Do you know what I mean? And it wouldn't just be killing someone, it would be killing them for revenge. An incredibly wrong way to start a new world. So, in my eyes, when Negan sort of did, uh, when Rick did what he did, my stomach dropped, my heart sunk, because I was like, this is no way to start this, right? This is not the way to show everyone forward. All those saviors following, it's not the way. I think if Rick kills Negan, 
right then and there, a lot of people's heads may turn, right? So the first act of a new world needs to be a good act. Otherwise, you're starting on a foundation which is shaky. If you imagine building blocks, right? If that first building block is all cracked and splintered, eventually when it builds up, it's not going to last, right? It's going to fracture and shatter and the whole thing's going to come tumbling down. Sparing him was the right decision. And I spoke a crap ton in one of the last Beyond the Wars about how my view on Negan has changed drastically. And it's only because of a few small details as well. Yes, there's a lot of what he does that I disagree with, that maybe I don't understand. But after learning that it was Simon that killed all those people in Oceanside, seeing Simon sort of react and lash out and create issues for Negan to have to resolve, after seeing that, it makes me rethink everything that's happened prior. He's done crap things. Yes, Glenn died due to Lucille. I get that. So did Abraham. It's a, There's a list now. If you think right, that Negan never really wanted this kind of life. Because I don't believe he did. I just don't believe that this was what he wanted. I think he fell into a situation which he knew he could save people, keep people under check, under control, and create order. That's his whole thing, order. He believed that that was saving people. So if we just take a second to assume that his motive was always good, right? From the start, it was good. The motive's good. Doesn't mean the acts are good. The motive is good. Then a little bit of me feels bad for him. He's put himself in a position where he's the face. He's saying, I am Negan, I am Negan, I am Negan. He's almost taking all the blame for all the cruelty and the acts. That's why we blamed him for so much. He's taking that entire blame and making himself a villain in order to keep people safe. Now, if you view it like that, I'm not sure if that's completely true, but if you view it like that, it's almost heroic, right, if you view it from a different perspective. So we have to be very careful going forward how we view the guy, whether we view him as someone who's just sadistic, which, believe it or not, now I'm not sure I believe, or someone who believes he's doing what he's doing because he believes that it's the best way forward to keep people safe, right? And for all we know, it is. This whole thing that we've set up with all these merged groups, right, it may go sour, there may be people killed, there may be rebellions, there may be like all sorts going on, death, death, blah, 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 right? There may be a lot of crap and there may be a lot of deaths. And if we compare that to say the way Negan does things, maybe there's not as many deaths, you know, then you're getting into the whole argument of like, who's morally wrong? It's complicated and confusing. I can't even describe how much it, much it has changed since hearing about Simon, since seeing what he was like with Gabriel. There's a lot that I disagree with him. There's a lot that I will never be able to forgive, but there's a lot about his character that now I want to understand. If you screen grab or if you screen record my words from two seasons ago of I don't want to know him, I don't even care anymore, compare that to now. Just because of some minor details or a little bit of hindsight, you almost feel guilty thinking the way you do originally, but I think that's the whole point of the way he's been written. I have been bamboozled. I do believe that him being alive will benefit the future going forward. Not as an example, not in a cage. I think there will come a time when he becomes needed or Rick will learn more about him. They'll understand each other. Like I said, I have this weird vision of him, Rick, just being ending up alone somewhere and needing to each other to survive. I had this weird feeling about it. Like, if they were alone, needed each other to survive, had full conversations, all these different things, I have this weird feeling like eventually they're going to bond on a weird level. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. For all we know, they get banished together. Um, do you think Negan will turn good or stay bad? Let's see, this is just a really complicated question because in my eyes, I don't know if he was ever bad now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like no one's fully good in the apocalypse, right? Yeah, I, I, now there's so much, you, as you would have just heard me saying, almost epiphanies have been firing off like bloody fireworks. I see only, the crazy thing is right, is I see a positive arc for him. For some reason, I see him being someone perhaps I even maybe like. I don't know. I don't know. It's freaking me out just thinking about it. <laughs> what do you think about Father Gabriel being so brave knowing he might die from the very first time he was carrying on a rock? Yeah, it always really has felt like that for him, hasn't it? He's a bloody brave person. He's probably one of the stronger characters in the series. That's probably just partly what faith does to you, right? The ability to be optimistic. I see him as one of the stronger people mentally. Yes, he may not be as useful in a fist fight or a... Uh, 
yeah, whatever. But once again, the same way when Negan ended up with Gabriel, I saw him, Gabriel, as having a very intense purpose of spreading a message. That's where I see his character going forward. That's why I'm so glad he's still freaking alive. How do you think season 9 is going to play out with everything we saw after Negan being taken down? Yeah, this is where it gets to that part of the conversation. So, Maggie, Daryl, Jesus. I don't know how much Jesus has to play in believing all that stuff. I don't know. Look, the whole scene may be incredibly misleading. There may be no ill motive or intention. It may just be a discussion. <laughs> Maybe they end up pulling them aside and sitting them down with a cup of tea and talking about their disagreements. I don't know. Look, the scene may be misleading, but from what it looks like, there is already open rebellion. Could you call it that? He's not really a king, but there's already some kind of, yeah, exactly what I was just talking about with Negan perhaps manifesting in a world where he doesn't control, right? Or he doesn't have some level of control. How do I think it will play out? I think for a lot of the season, it's just going to be about rebuilding. I don't see whatever we saw at the end of the last season, because like Maggie said, they've got to rebuild, make this place strong first, and then a decision will be made. But unfortunately for Rick, I genuinely believe that he is one of few people that see why he can't kill Negan, right? I think he's one of the few people that sees why doing something like that right on the birthday of a new world is just, you know what I mean? He's one of few people. So when it comes to choosing sides, if that happens, I do believe a lot of people will side with Maggie, right? So Rick, who's led us through all of it from day one, I feel he will be discarded. Genuinely, I think that his time as leader for the moment will be up. But I think genuinely as well, Maggie will regret getting rid of him. I, I genuinely feel like he will be sent away. Him, Michonne, Negan, and anyone that sides with Rick, right? That's anyone that sides with Rick. The way I see season 9 is a rebuild phase, and then, yeah, a demolition of what we built. I and mean, then it will just only get worse, by the way. Just saying it's only, only getting worse. The group will fracture. That's what I see for season 9, fracturing. What are your overall thoughts on the fall of Negan? Do you find the saviour arc and build up deliver new expectations? So, the fall of Negan, right, it kind of went perfectly in my mind. Maybe a lot of people thought there'd be more fireworks and more bang for your buck kind of thing. I kind of get the feeling like the saviour arc and a lot of the dark stuff that happened and a lot of the wow factor happened earlier on in their story but I think that's kind of the point I think it's supposed to be slightly not underwhelming but the whole point I believe of this whole arc is that we're supposed to learn about them and see who they are and learn that it's not what your initial thought says it's not as bad you know what I mean like learn not to just go off gut feeling and and emotion and heart and all that stuff I believe the whole point was by the time it came to the point where we could kill them we were supposed to feel like we shouldn't do it that's my personal belief Maybe the feeling a lot of people would feel at this point is it's underwhelming because there's not more, like, no one's gone and killed Negan or there's not been a big wow factor of mass genocide or maybe that little feeling of is this underwhelming is because people still felt angry. Obviously, everyone who watches this is going to feel completely and utterly different. Me, I kind of felt more on the side of we need to forgive and for not forget, but we need to forgive and build something. We're in, in too dark of a world and too dangerous of a world to go round in circles on this loop of bloody violence. That was where my point of view was, so I didn't see it as underwhelming. One thing I will say is I do feel like a lot of the saviour stuff, generally, wasn't quite as good in the second part, like, right? Like, it was way better in, like, in season seven, that's like peak saviours in Negan, in my opinion. I loved it, guys, don't get me wrong, but I felt like the second part, second half of it wasn't the best i do you know what i feel like maybe they could have built up simon's uh the way maybe it could have gone on for another season i don't know if you take my expectations from early the earlier part of the savior's arc my expectation would have been that he would have been killed by rick in a very brutal way right so if you look at it like that no it hasn't reached my expectations but as my viewpoint grew it just fit into what i was thinking this might sound a bit controversial but overall Negan as a villain and the saviour thing has been my favourite villain arc, but my favourite ending to a villain arc was probably the governor, right? I know that was just bang, 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 but I love them both. Thoughts on how Maggie and Daryl turning against Rick at the end of the night will affect things moving forward and who may side with Rick and Michonne or Daryl and Maggie? Oh yeah, so I just spoke a little bit about my thoughts about that finale, right? 
so I'll just skip to the second part of the question. Who do I think will side with Rick, Michonne, Daryl, and Maggie? So clearly the obvious ones is Jesus will side with Maggie. Like, I think Carol will side with Rick after everything she's been through and, and, and at one point not believing in his leadership and then and then learning why. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Carol will side with Rick, in my opinion. Morgan will... Well, Morgan, I don't think, will be around for a little bit. Majority of the people that were already at Hilltop will probably follow Maggie. I actually get a weird feeling like some people may follow... Some of the saviors may follow Rick. I don't know. The slightly odd feeling of like, I don't know. It's anyway, it's really hard to tell because I'd like to think a lot more people would side with Rick purely because they will believe that a world can't be built on blood. Maybe no one sides with Rick because there was a lot of built up anger and frustration and pain and all of it. I don't know. As long as we don't get no bloody event, uh, Marvel Civil War because, geez Louise, that movie was so, not bad, but... The conflict was frustrating. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, I don't know. I'd like to think there would be a lot of people that side with Rick. I think I would, but I also think there's a lot of people that wouldn't. Well, the thing is, is whenever this divide happens, if there is a big split and a pretty even split, right, a lot of people are going to be saying goodbye to each other. Look, I don't think there will be a lot of people. Let's put it that way. I don't think there will be a lot. I can't even tell you who. I, have, I like to think a lot of people would but I've got a gut feeling that most people won't. If the situation at the end was flipped, do you think Negan would have killed or spared Rick, knowing what that Carl is dead? What are your thoughts on the ending fight scene with Rick and Negan? The hard part about that question is, this is reminding me of the Shane, um, you know the questions about, would Shane have killed Rick, or would, or did he truly submit? It reminded me almost exactly of that scene. Rick doing what he did to Shane, and Rick doing what he did to Negan. They almost felt identical to me. So you always have to guess what the other person would have done. I got the weird feeling like Negan was coming round. I don't know. At least to a conversation, but Shane, now that I look back on it, I don't think he would have done it on the spot. I think Neg I, I'm, I'm so much more uncertain about Negan. I don't know. I can't answer that, eh? I don't think he would have, but like, I've been so wrong so many times. What are my thoughts on the ending fight scene? Mm, it's pretty cool, but I think I preferred like the, the, you know, the fight scene in Alexandra in the house. I think that's my favorite one. I kind of felt like it was a little bit like, I don't want to say underwhelming, but Negan was pulling his punches. Let's be honest. Negan and Rick had plenty of opportunity during that fight to end it then and there. Boom. Obviously Rick had his, re his reasons and Negan's reasons. I'm still, compl I'm not sure about. It may have been underwhelming, but maybe there's more meaning to that when, than we think. How do you feel about the direction of Eugene's character based on the events of the finale? Do you think he will gain the respect he deserves or still be treated poorly? I think he will gain the respect he deserves from his family. A lot of people tried to have faith in him and then he sort of, I don't want to say betrayed the faith, he did a little bit at times and then he just never had faith in his, himself. I think people will recognize now that he's capable. Obviously, he's Eugene, and he's, he's not the easiest person to initially get along with. I think he will gain respect. I'm a little bit worried about how some characters view him, purely because of how long he was with the saviors. And no, let's be honest, he may have dealt the final sort of... He may have been the one who dealt the destruction of the saviors, but he certainly sure as hell helped them a lot. So a lot of people may have still have some, you know what I mean, like fire in them about, about the way that went and about their opinion on Eugene. It would not surprise me. It's a really tough one because I think I love him for what he did, but there's a lot that he did and there's a lot... There were There was a... There was a period when I gave up on him. How do you feel about Rick using the soft spot of Carl's memory to get Negan to let his guard down to the point of getting emotional? Oh, yeah. So, basically, how do I feel about Rick manipulating someone to get an opportunity to lie to them? <laughs> I feel like you got to do what you got to do, right? In that situation, I think Rick was in two minds. Everything that Maggie's feeling, Rick's feeling as well. He probably still believes that if the whole savior stuff wasn't happening, Carl may be alive. Like, there will be a lot of bad blood. I th I don't think that, like, you know, everyone's sort of being like, oh, Rick kept him alive. I don't think that was an easy decision. I mean, he bloody well slit his throat. That was no easy decision to make. He had to do what he had to do in that moment to survive, right? To do what he originally went there to pl plan to do, which was kill Negan. Obviously, it feels dishonest, but at the end of the day, in this world, no one's fully good. Like, that, that, that whole theme is still coming through. Yes, the word of people is feigning, right? People's word is disappearing. I get that. It's only natural, right? I hope at some point Rick's word means a lot to someone. I really do. He did what he felt was right. He did what he felt would protect his family. So I've always viewed Rick's motives as for his people, not for himself. 
If he's lying or manipulating, it's because he cares about people, right? Sounds weird, but I think him doing that will cause issues with people wanting to follow him. Yes. I even said it in a few episodes ago, guys, with the saviors, the looks they give him, they clearly don't trust him. That's just a natural product of, of fighting the way he was fighting. Yes, it's probably going to be counterproductive, but that's where I thought Maggie came in, right? She was the thing that was giving people a... She was giving people something to follow, and Rick was doing the hard leading behind the scenes. That's what it felt like. Now, obviously, everything's changed a bit, but I don't hate him for it. Obviously, I wish it, his word meant more, and, you know, the way he killed those saviors was, was definitely a lot worse than what he did to Negan, in my opinion, especially considering he saved Negan anyway, so it's like, well... He, he, he basically seriously wounded him and then got someone to save him. He had to, a decision to make. He chose both. He had the time to change his mind. Thank goodness. It was a tough, bloody decision. And in that situation, what would you do? If you were... Lo like, because it felt like he was not losing the fight, but it wasn't far off. Look, I'll give, it, I'll give, you, I'll give you this. When uh, Rick did what he did to Shane, that didn't feel right completely. There's still a bit of that with this Negan situation. That's all I can say. Otherwise, I'm mumble jumbling. Do you think Rick always intended on saving Negan or was that choice made in the moment after Negan said, look what you did, Carl didn't... See, well, no, look. I think he went there with every intention of killing Negan. I think when he turned and looked at his people and he saw the future, he saw what was to come and he thought of Carl, I think in that exact moment he knew what he had to do. That's when I think it happened. I don't think... Yeah, I already sort of answered that. But anyway... That is all the questions, guys. We've been talking for 35 minutes, so it is time to wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed that that little discussion. Obviously, we have an intense Season 9 coming now. I plan to start watching Season 9 today or tomorrow. Uh, obviously, I won't do it now because I'm losing my voice already. Season 8 definitely had a period for me when I it wasn't like... How do I describe this? Because of the Carl d dying and like stuff like it, it felt like one of the weaker parts... I don't know, is that just me who felt like the ending of season 8 was one of the weaker parts of the show? But anyway, look, I loved it nonetheless, guys. As you guys know, this is, this is one of my favourite shows, if not my favourite show at the moment. It's very close to this, this neck and neck with Game of Thrones. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to channel for new content every single week. And of course, go to the Instagram, with 2 ds Also, the Discord, guys. The discussion there has been fantastic. Um, there are spoiler chats, so you can talk about spoiler stuff, um, which I will not see. It's got the lot, guys. And if, on, if I'm honest with you, that is where the most updated news about the channel goes to. So if you don't follow the Discord, obviously it's a members link thing. So if, if you're a member at least once, for one time, you'll get access to the link. Once you're in, you're not going to get kicked out. If you stop paying, don't worry about that. It's just like once you've paid, once you become... You get access. Gosh, I can't speak. But yeah, that's all from me, guys. As ever, it's me, Dan. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.